Welcome everyone to Quiz Club 18. 18. Ah, folks, I'm in a different. I'm in a different area today. I'm in a different location. But hey, we're we're still here to have fun. Also, little fun fact about this: you're gonna see this pop up. I cut myself really bad at work the other day. That's always fun. Workers comp coming soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun today, folks. Uh, hopefully, my internet's not too bad. My grandfather is going to be downstairs in a meeting, so I hope that they don't, the Wi-Fi doesn't conflict with us, but hey, we're here to have a good time. We're here to have fun. Uh, I've actually made a couple adjustments to to the to the quiz. I'm excited to show you guys today if it would if it would come up. Hold on. You guys, you'd find this pretty cool. This took uh, more longer than I thought. I put all the rounds and then a little introduction. Welcome to Quiz Club 18. I just felt like the purple, the purple slide was just too much, right? There was nothing going on. It was just a flash. It was just a flash of purple light, and uh, we needed to add something. So I added this. Uh, and we'll, we'll obviously adjust it every episode and add more rounds when we get them. Cool. Well, folks, you know how you know how it goes. You know what the rules are. You know what all that stuff. But let's just jump right in to the people. Anna Monet, let's jump. Let's throw you right in. Let's throw you right in. Braids and all the picture and all. Anna, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. good, good. I'm sorry that you cut your finger. I used to joke um, at my job whenever anything went ajar. I'd be like, lawsuit! <laughs> lawsuit, co workers' cop. Workers' cop! Yeah, well, so thankfully. And I was like, could have been me. <laughs> I know. It was bad, though. Like, I, yeah, it was bad. I was bleeding for like 12 hours straight. I had to double bandage my finger. It, like, I'm, it's fine. It's not infected, thankfully, but I definitely have, like, a, like, I have this section of my finger ripped off, like, the skin, not, like, my finger finger, but, like, skin is ripped off, so. Uh, does not need stitches, but there's no more skin right there as the time being. Well, thank you, Anna, for coming on in. We've been trying to get you for a while. We've been trying to get you for a minute. Do what I can. <laughs> yes, well, we're ha happy to have you here. I love the braids. I set them in, in the little pre-lobby. And I like um, the intro, the new design. Thank you. A1. A1. Took some time. Took some time. Thank you. All right. We're going to jump on to the next person. I don't remember. I don't have my second laptop with me to, to go off of. Today's just cheers if you have some drinks. I don't know who's next. It's an India. India. Come on in here. <laughs> India, I feel like I feel like this this picture of you shows up everywhere it's it's your picture of your on, on zoom it's the picture in quiz club <laughs> it's everywhere how yeah, you doing well, how you doing i'm India? good i'm i'm all good i'm all good, good. And sorry about your finger meat brother it's all good it's all good it happens hey I've, I've been trying to get you on for a minute but i'm glad we got you back um do you have any words the last time you were here with sophia i know that I know there was there was some tension between the teams. Do you have anything to say to Caden or anything like that? Yeah, nothing, nothing me, you know, but you guys did great. And that's all I have to say. Wow. Talking like with some team spirit. Well, India, it's always a pleasure having you on. We're excited to have you here. Uh, let's just jump on to the next person. I think. I think this is Mr. Monaco. It is. Yes, Matthew, come on in here. Come on back. We're happy to have you back, Matthew. How are you doing today? Oh, the power of Mjolnir. Yep. Yep. I'm ready. Yep. <laughs> uh, just so you guys, if you guys aren't aware, on India, Matthew used Mjolnir. It didn't help him win Quiz Club, but it, no. it brought him. What was it? Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. Yes. It was. I was so close. <laughs> I was so close. Oh, that was fun. you know, because honestly, that was a great challenge because um, I'm not used to Owen Wilson being in uh, TV shows. So the fact that obviously he was in Loki, I'm just, which was recent, yeah. was a really great challenge. Was that a was really that kind of challenge. threw you through the ringer, but you still did a good job. Uh, that was pretty good what you did there. Uh, and again, I love the suit. Uh, blue is definitely your color. Good, sir. Good yeah, sir. I've gotten that. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, glad to have you on. Uh, hope, hope wish you good wish you good luck all right uh next you already know who it is he has been champion folks for 28 days and counting he's also the tag team champion because the man just does not stop it's king caden it's mr mcglassen come on in here caden 
You still haven't changed that old picture, <laughs> even though I've released new heat on my Instagram. I know, I know. I was gonna change it, but then again, I was like, I feel like you like the the masked like persona. I do. Of it. It's one of my favorite pictures. It's true. Yes. So well, we will update that if you'd like. But Caden, how you feeling today, man? You haven't defended your championship in a minute. You've been on holiday. It seems like. Yeah, I know. Relaxing, playing GTA while people are playing. Uh, how how has that been? How has the vacation like been for the champion, Caden? Good, so I don't be sweating all the fucking time playing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, you've you've gone up with some good competition today because I expect a very good game for the rest of you guys. You guys can all come on back in here. Let's have some fun. You guys know the rules. We don't need to go all over them. We don't need to do all that. We don't need to do all that. Chill ain't here. We don't got to worry about that. <laughs> but again, I will utter the Joker point rules. Obviously, you will have a section of the quiz designated for you to have double points. That has always been a given. Uh, and that's a, that's a rule that I really enjoy. It, it definitely helps some. Um, so definitely kind of strategize. Obviously, you don't know what the round is when it when it the fate has been designated for you. But, you know, you, you just got to roll with the punches. So you guys know how that plays. Let's just jump right into the Joker points. I believe, let me double check. Caden, obviously our champion, you get to choose the round that you would like to have double points in. Just confirming. Yes, we have three rounds. Uh, sorry, four rounds. Technically, the fourth round, we don't do Joker points, as you know. Champion, what round, one, two, or three, would you like to have your Joker points for? Uh, this time, I'm actually going round two. Round two. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me let me write that down. Instead of round one. Is there is there a reason why the round two? Yeah, just because I always pick round one and I've been a champion. And so I just because I think that you might have switched it on me. I'm going with my gut and just being like, maybe he did something. So I'm doing round two. Would anyone like their fate to be chosen first? So dun dun dun. Anna. Okay. Anna, if you get a one or two, round one, two or three, or sorry, three or four, round two, five or six, it's round three. Cool. Cool. I'm so sorry if this is loud in advance. You got a round three, so you and Kaden will be sharing round two. Hi, Kaden. Fate determined. India? Okay. So uh, round two is taken, so it's either round one or three. So you guys, whatever, whichever one she doesn't get, Matthew, you'll get. Oh. So, India, you're going to get round 1 to start off the quiz. You're going to have you're going to have round 1 as your double points, Matthew. Again, your round 3. Cool. So, again, India's round 1, Caden and Anna are round 2, Matthew is round 3. Let's jump right into it, folks. Let's hope I remember what round this is. Uh yes, I do actually. Yes, I do. Uh as a round that we haven't seen in a while. I really enjoy. Oh, Looks like our champion is too busy for us right now. Oh, sorry. What's going on? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what, man? Were you, were you answering a call there, champ? Huh? No, I was trying to listen to a meme. I couldn't hear it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, round one, folks, is going to be Crazy Rich Resume. Now, if you've never played Crazy Rich Resume before, basically, I will assign uh, the room. So this will be a buzz-in round. I will assign the room a actor or an actress uh, from TV or film history, could be both. I will give you a project that is impossible to guess off of, then hard, medium, and easy. If it's impossible and you get it on impossible, it's 10 points. If it's hard, eight. If it's medium, six. And if it's easy, four. Uh, for example, let's say the impossible film, I say Escape Plan. For hard, I say Expendables. Medium, Batman and Robin. Easy, The Terminator. And then the answer was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Joe Joe oh. Rogan, <laughs> critically acclaimed <laughs> Terminator actor. <laughs> uh, so it's played like that. I think, Matthew, you're the only person who hasn't played this, correct? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense for you, Matt? Uh, um, as um, If people like were to go to before me, I can probably pick up on it. Okay. This one, so this one is a buzz in round. So this one is, okay. I will, it'll come up with the impossible project, a project that they were in that would be almost impossible to guess off of. And then it's a buzz in. So let's say it is like Caden buzzes and says Seth Rogen. And it's not Seth Rogen. Kate, now the other, you, uh, 
Anna in India, you guys continue playing for the specific actor, but if it's not Seth Rogen, then Caden's eliminated from that specific person, if that makes sense. So we have hey. four we have four people, two actors, two actresses. Uh, and I'll tell you what what exactly they are at the beginning. Caden, were you gonna say something? Yeah, so you see at the top of the, th- I'm just now noticing this where it says the only thing crazier than love is family. <laughs> yeah. What you should put there is the only thing crazier than love is quiz club. <laughs> <laughs> it's quiz club. Just start sneaking them into every poster. Sneak there, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep it in. Uh, okay. Do you guys like my, do you, I, you know, I've never talked about this because do you guys like my Photoshop skills yeah. here? You can never, you can never tell. <laughs> you would have never <laughs> known. The tagline. <laughs> By the tagline, you should also just like uh, put uh, Vin Diesel in there because of yeah. family. <laughs> just <laughs> oh, <laughs> just like have him like with oh, his gun, funny. and it says the only thing crazy than love is family. <laughs> Let him replace the disco balls. Yeah, the disco balls with Vin Diesel's head. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, on to the first person. This one you guys can take notes if you'd like. I don't know why you would, but you can if you like. There's no, there's no shame in it. <laughs> Uh, my time to shine. This is Caden's favorite round. He usually <laughs> he hail marries it and gets it all the time. Yeah. But we're gonna see how he fares. This first person is an actor for ten points. Impossible Project is Ghostbusters of two thousand sixteen. Caden, Caden, going right for it. I'm just gonna say it because I actually I'm only going to say this because I actually don't know the other actresses in there so we're going with Melissa McCarthy it's not Melissa McCarthy I don't know the other actors I I Caden I I felt it was a it was an actor oh idiot yeah no it's all (laughs) it's all good it's a little early slip up (laughs) it's all good So India, Anna, Matthew, if you guys, so Caden's eliminated from this person. If you guys want to move on to the hard project for eight points, just let me know. Give me a thumbs up and I'll move on to it. Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have done my Joker points. (laughs) It's all good. Hey, man, it happens. It happens. Let me just do this, this. Okay. The next project for hard, eight points. The Cabin of the Woods of 2011. India? India. Is it Chris Hemsworth? For eight points, that is going to India. Actually, double point round India. You got 16 points right then and there. Oh, wow. Oh, God. I was squinting. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Are you sure that's not Melissa McCarthy? That kind of (laughs) honestly, you never literally have this Funko Pop from (laughs) Ghostbusters 2016. Oh wow, you you collect Funko Pops as well? I love that. Oh yes, I love that. I need to show you my wall. I they're literally like all right here. I have Patty. Got some go. What? Yes. That's very interesting characters, but I love it anyways. Okay, yeah, it was Chris Hemsworth. Uh, uh, just just so you guys can see, the medium was Doctor Strange because he had that little cameo as Thor, and then Easy was Thor: Love and Thunder. I okay. would have never gotten it, actually. I would have never gotten that. Hey, it's all good, man. It's all good. Hey, you haven't heated up yet, Caden. You'll heat up soon. This one is an actress or a female actor. Uh, actress. Impossible Project for ten points. Everyone's back in, by the way. Medea's Family Reunion of two thousand six. Could be anybody. <laughs> it's a Medea movie. Yeah, it sure is. Do you I'm guys want me to move on to it. hard? Give me a thumbs up. And I'll go ahead and move on to hard. Go okay. Hard, Dante. Cool. I mean, let's, go to hard. I mean, let's, let's, let's. What I said. Get hard, starring Will Ferrell <laughs> and Kevin Hart. Uh, hard for eight points. Lightyear 2022. Caden. Caden. And fuck, never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Matthew? Because it's a... India? Matthew? Okay. Kiki Palmer? That's eight points to Matthew. (laughs) Yes! That is Kiki Palmer herself. Woo! Yes! Uh, Medium was Alice. Came out this year. And and Easy was Nope. Medium was Alice. Yeah, yeah. Easy was Nope. I just... I went went with my gut because I'm like... Okay, I don't really <laughs> watch um uh, uh, huh? Medea. Yeah, Medea movies. You. And but when I when it saw light year, I was like, I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, hey, sometimes you gotta <laughs> shoot good. the dark. Gotta shoot yeah, the okay. dark. 
Caden, if I were you, I'd be I'd be a little afraid Matthew's holding this this hammer. I feel like you're the Thanos to his Thor. Bro, I'll, fucking, I'll whip out the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. This way. Oh, I have that too. He's that right now. Hey, I have that too. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, Dude, I'm gonna collect uh, <laughs> stones. Okay, next. I'm gonna get this your kid stones. <laughs> <laughs> this is an actor, a male actor. Uh, for ten points, impossible. Is robot chicken? Caden. 2017. Caden. There's literally only two I could guess, and I'm just. All right, we're gonna go with. I'm just gonna say it. I hope to God it's this. There's no way it's this. Yeah, I'm just doing it. Seth Green. It's not Seth Green. Fuck off, God. <laughs> At least you didn't do your double points for round one. Literally. See, I knew I, I had a feeling. I was like, nah, don't do it. <laughs> uh, anyone else want me to pass? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up all around. Okay, for hard for eight points. Space Jam, new legacy of 2021. <laughs> it's going to throw you through a ringer. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. I'm trying oh, to no. It. Not you disrespecting LeBron, India. <laughs> I don't I don't care for LeBron. It's fine. No, I don't care for LeBron as you should. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thumbs up if you guys want me to move on to medium for six points. Okay. I'm gonna move on to medium for six. Nope. 2022. What? Excuse me? This is a hard one. This one's a little difficult. I might have it. I'm a Anna? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay, okay, okay. She wants to wait. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Matthew, do you want to wait? Yeah. Okay, first one on the buzzer. Remember that. First one to buzz in. Easy. The walking Anna. Dead. Anna? Steven Ewan? It is Steven I Ewan. Knew it. I knew yeah, it. I, knew I knew it. love that man. Very good stuff. That is four points, Anna. Very good stuff. Getting on the leaderboard. You yeah. love to see it. You love to see it. It w- it was Stephen himself. I love that man. Wow, man, how does everyone? I had to do it when Jill wasn't here because she is in love with this man. <laughs> so I had to do it when he she was not here. Okay, uh, last person for this round. We're we're going through pretty quickly, and I love it. This is an actress, a female actor, actress. This is, or impossible. Sorry, <laughs> just reveal it right off the bat. Impossible. How the Grinch Stole Christmas of two thousand. Where are you? My favorite Christmas movie. I actually don't know. I, listen, I'm. I know the entire. Like, I I, there's no way I'm getting this because I don't know any of their names. Like, I know who. I already know who it is. I don't know her name. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know any of the actresses. <laughs> no one's gonna get this. There's okay. two that I can think of, and I can't think okay. of either of their names. Anna Matthew, yeah. do you guys want to take a shot, or do you guys want to wait? Uh, wait. Let's wait. All right, hard for eight points. Spider-Man 3, 2007. Oh! Oh, Matthew. Caden. Matthew? Oh. Bryce Dallas Howard. It is. Yes. Bryce oh. Dallas Howard. Very good stuff, Who is Matthew. she in? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no, no. no, no. Bryce Dallas Howard is in a very, very tiny role in yeah. that movie. She was only 19, and yeah. obviously her father, Ron Howard, directed it, so... Yeah, that's why you don't notice that's, her. It's impossible. Yeah, that, that was literally. the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally impossible. <laughs> like Stephen Young being wait. A so what chicken. is it? What one of those things where she was just like standing there? No, I think, she, I think she was on. She had a little bit of camera time, but I think it was like not much. I think they just have like a an Instagram thing of of her, um, but I can't remember what she was talking about. But it it had to do with the Grinch ex- experience. Oh, wow. I thought you were... Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I met her. Really? Really? Yeah, it was that I went to this uh, Rocketman screening back in 2019. Uh, Oh, my God. Uh, At Paramount... uh, At Paramount Studios. Oh, my God. What an experience. I was 20 feet away from Elton John. Oh, wow. Yeah, Yeah, Taryn, Taryn... Yeah, I got to meet the whole cast. Taryn Edgerton was there. I got I got pictures with all of them. Jamie Bell, the director, Bryce yeah. Dallas Howard. She was so sweet. You she have pictures. So you have pictures with a lot of people, Matthew. You you're you're definitely getting pretty good with them pictures. 
You got well, good. I mean, it's also because, um, you know, when I lived in New York, I saw a lot of theater and also knowing people, etc. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Nice. Yeah, so cool. I uh, if I if I if I if my type was white women, Bryce Dallas Howard is the top of the list. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to the next round. Uh, I'm going to before I review round two, let me go ahead and jump over to the points so far uh, in third place is Anna with four. Don't worry, we come back. You know this, Anna. Come on, now. I Al. love being in third place. That's where I was. <laughs> hey, you're on the you're on the board, which is always always fun. Uh, in tied for second is Thor and Thanos themselves. Matthew and Caden with eight points. Ooh, I got points. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my apologies. Okay, this is gonna ha- this happens every episode. I don't want to hear it, Caden. I don't want to freaking hear it. All right. <laughs> no, I got. <laughs> Uh, my apologies. Anna's in fourth. Matthew's in, or no, Caden's in third with eight. Tied for first is India and uh, India and Matthew with sixteen. Wait, what points did I? Who did I guess? Uh oh, wow. Yeah, I completely fudged that up. Caden, you're last. Yeah, I sure am, bud. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> My apologies, sir. I'm trying to help you win. All right. So, <laughs> like, I just get it. All right. Uh, on to round two. This oh, is a fan shit. favorite round of mine. I really enjoy this round. Uh, this is also Caden and Anna's double point round. So really, really figure about this. This is when that paper and pen pad whatever whiteboard whatever you like to use this is when that comes into play this is concrete jungle wet dreams tomato now how this one is played i will give you guys a rotten tomato uh, i will give you a movie or tv show this one's all movies i will give you a movie and you have to write down what you think the critic score and what you think the audience score is two different answers so i'll come to each person this is not a buzz in i'll come to each person I'll basically ask for what you have closest person to what the actual scores are. You get five points. Let me double check if that is correct. Five points. Yes. Um, If two people have the same amount of distance from it, that's happened before. You guys both get five points. If you get it within a, uh, not a percent, but if you get it on the percent, you get 10 points, bullseye points. Does that make sense, Matthew? Yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's jump right into it. Caden, Anna, pressure's on. Let's get some double points here. Now, the first project. I also, when I do this round, I like to theme it with something. This theme has been movie releases um, from the past month. I have tied it in somehow. So this first one, uh, the predecessor, the sequel, I guess you could say, came out at the beginning of July. This one was the original Minions. What do you think the critic score is? What do you think the audience score is? Go ahead and uh, give you guys some time to write down what you think. As always, no cheating, as always. I don't think I've actually seen this one before, if I'm being honest. Can I ask a question? Yes. Despicable Me came out and then this came out or despicable me 2 came out and then this came out i think it was despicable me 1 2 and 3 and then this came out or no 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 i'm wrong no i'm wrong what is it matthew so it was despicable me 2010 despicably uh, despicable me 2 2013 minions 2015 and then despicable Mm. me 3 2017 i believe okay gotcha so this is the third in the franchise to release yeah chronological yeah. order wise no because i think this is the very beginning i haven't seen it yeah this is i think Gru was it wasn't even like this was like before yeah Gru this like- was like this was the setup before rise of Gru, which came out last month i think so uh gotcha. when you guys have answers give me a thumbs up and we'll go one by mm-hmm. one okay cool uh matthew let's start with you what do you think of the audience what do you think of the critic Okay, so for critics, I say 55%. Okay. And for audience, I would say 65%. 55, 65. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Anna? I put 70, 70. 
Seventy seventy. Okay. I'm not feeling it. I'm feeling lower than that, but I'm right. st- sticking with it. Okay. Uh, India. I put critics seventy percent and audience seventy five. Ooh, seventy seventy five. It's the highest one so far. You've said okay. Uh, Caden. Eighty eighty, brother. Eighty eighty. Okay, I don't think you've ever done anything but the same one. <laughs> That's right, brother. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, I believe. Let me check. Just a good bet. Um, somebody's getting fifteen points. It's fifty-five forty-nine. Ooh, that's fifteen points. points to Matthew. That's ten for the critic score and five because he was the closest to the audience. That makes sense. Here's the thing: I look at Rotten Tomatoes, obviously not right now, all the time. So <laughs> I kind of have this in check. I I do that religiously with IMDb. I should definitely do it more with Rotten Tomatoes because I feel like they're different audiences. I guess yeah. IMDb. I'm always checking what are critics saying and then what are the audiences saying. So nice. Okay, uh, on to the next one. This one was a film, uh, third in its franchise that released. Uh, a lot of people loved it. It's Thor Ragnarok. Woo! It's really <laughs> <The> really, <woo! laughs> <laughs> really enjoyable, that. really really enjoyable movie. What do you think oh, of the critic? I love this movie. What do you think of the critic? What do you think of the audience? I was a huge fan of Hulk, and I did not see the trailer. I only saw the movie, and I was mm-hmm. so excited when I saw Hulk come out. Spoiler alert! It's not. I mean, he's also on the poster, so. That's true. You, you do realize this He's poster looks this. this poster looks exactly the same like Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yeah. I think it was made by the same person. Yeah. <laughs> Have a vision. Okay. Caden. Oh, India. Have you finished? Oh yeah, I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't want <laughs> okay. I was Kate. I was fiddling with something. I almost left the chat. Okay. Okay, no, you're good. Caden. I'm going 80 80, brother. 80 80, brother. Nice. <laughs> okay. India. 65 75. 65 credit, critic, 75 yeah. audience. Okay. Okay. Uh, Anna. 90 90. Ooh, 90 90. Ooh. Matthew. Big ball of. All right. Uh, critics 93, audience 95. 93 95. Okay. Uh, let me see. I can confirm two people getting points. It's a critic of 93, audience of 87. That's 10 points to Matthew, five to Anna. Very good stuff. Hey. This is not going very well. <laughs> 80, 80, so, brother. Okay, uh, Matthew is, is putting points on the board. Somebody catch this man. Okay. On to the next on to the next film. Uh this film, funny enough, is made by a director I'm gonna see tonight. It is us. Woo! Critic and audience, what do you guys think? Rotten Tomatoes oh, said. <laughs> Honestly, this might be my favorite i really enjoyed nope i'm gonna see it again to really settle in and see how i feel but this might be my favorite which is very unpopular opinion no i like this you like this say let me change my numbers (laughs) bro you're the one that like we were talking you're like i didn't like it better than us and i was like what i know that was that was a spur in the moment as well but I, i need to see it again to see how i really feel Okay, uh, if you guys are done, give me a thumbs up. Sweet. Matthew, we'll go to you first. All right. Critics, 90. Audience, 88. 90 and 88. Okay. Anna. But 95, 95. 95, 95. Okay. 95. Oh, my bad. I wrote down three. I don't know why I did that. Uh, India. Um, critics, 87. Audience, 93. Okay, Caden. I said 90 90, brother. 90 90, brother. <laughs> okay, you guys are very close. Let me check. <laughs> uh, this is 
this is really close. Um, so I can confirm more than one person is getting points. Uh, yes, it's back to Anna and Matthew, 93-60. That's oh five my points God. to Matthew, five Ooh. points to Anna. Damn, audience. Audience. And I just guessed that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the critics apparently really love the movie. And audiences didn't, surprisingly. I, I don't understand. There's too it's... many blacks on screen. There's too many <laughs> <too awful>. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Literally. So okay. Would, uh... On to the last movie in round two. Uh, All right. Oh, also, Anna, this is your double points. So I will I will do your double points at the end. Just <laughs> yeah, this is your Caden. Also, you got to get some points on the board, my guy. Look, I got double points for zero <laughs> times two or something. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. uh, last film. I actually have never heard of this film until I, I made this quiz. Uh, the other animated movie in this world, I guess, uh, released not too long ago. I watched it yesterday. Yes, I watched it yesterday. It's DC, Teen Titans, go to the movies. Mm. Is that the one where the original Teen Titans come in? I have no idea. You might have just spoiled it for me. It's okay. I'm not going to, I don't care. Uh, if it helps, it's in the advertisement. I haven't. Oh, okay. Seen okay. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> but I had to do it because DC League of Super Pets came out and actually was kind of a cute movie. If you guys want a good time. Holy shit. Uh, you saw that movie? I did. It was kind of cute. Oh, my God. Too much shit about it, it was okay. There were a couple of adults crying <laughs> by the end. <laughs> I don't, what? I don't know why. <laughs> You know what's what's really getting my go? And let me tell y'all one thing. I love The Rock and will never say anything bad about this man. However, um, he keeps saying, like, this has never been done before, like, in a never before scene. And did, did none of us watch Super Pets when we were younger? Like, he, did, I mean, obviously, he says that so like, that people will go see it. Yeah, he's, he's very, yeah, he, yeah, he definitely <laughs> likes to do that speak. Yeah, because Crypto had his own, like, show, right? I think so. And I mm -hmm. thought it was Banger when I was a kid, and I feel like I'm the only one who's remembering it. <laughs> no, there was a TV show. Um, could I, could I, could we please figure out if the original Teen Titans is in this movie? Because if I know, I, that decides my score. I, I, I could do that. I don't know what I would look up, but uh, what, what did you want me to look up? So like, you know, like the original Teen Titans show, like the anime adjacent show. Yes. I mean, I can I can say, but I don't want to spoil. Is anyone gonna Is anyone gonna be mad if if Matthew spoils it? Go ahead, there, brother. So I believe that because uh, I saw it once, but I believe that they ended up uh, coming in in the uh, uh, post credit scene. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Well, there you go. All right, give me a thumbs up if you've written your score i think we're just waiting on anna okay i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good okay india you good as well yeah okay wait 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 uh. <laughs> it's okay it's okay <laughs> okay okay kaden we'll start with you i put 75 75 75 75 all right uh, let's see, India. I put 60-60. Ooh! 60-60. Anna? I live by what's written down, so I had originally 80-80, but right now I'm going with 70-70. 70-70, okay. Matthew? Critics, 85. Audiences, 75. 85-75. Let me do my math. Who is okay. It? Here we go. Two people again. Funny enough, it's the same two people. So 91, 71. That's five points to Matthew. Five points to Anna. Oh God. I'm I'm surprised that people actually love this movie. I me too. Critics more more than anything. The critics I really mean, enjoy this movie. It, it was an okay film. It was it was clever. It had uh, good humor, but I wouldn't say it's like my favorite. Yeah, I think Teen Titans is very, it's a fan favorite. It's 
definitely yeah. a fan favorite. So I think that helps it most definitely. India, okay. if you asked who's in the carpet, it's Slade. It's who? Slade. Isn't that? Um, yeah. I see. Yeah, I'm not a DC person. I don't know. No, I know. Well, no. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen the Titans TV show, the live action one that's on HBO Max. I watched that. Oh, wow. Is it good? <laughs> I enjoyed it. I just, yeah. And I watched Doom Patrol. Nice. I've seen Paw Patrol. All right. <laughs> after no, that seen, round. No, I've seen Paw Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> All right. After that round, let's go over the points. Last place is our champion, Caden, with a whole whopping donut. It's okay, Caden. <laughs> we come on back. Caden, you got two more rounds, my man. You got two more rounds, my man. You got this, man. You got this. In third place is India with 16. Woo. Good stuff. Good stuff, India. Second place, <laughs> she got 30 points that round. Ono with 34. Woo. 34 points. And in first place right now is currently Matthew Odinson himself with 49 points. Nice. Fif- 15 ahead of you, Ana, but it's still in reach. Caden, there's still two more rounds. It's still in reach. Now, uh, this is... Let me check... Yes, we're not going to our intermission just yet because we're moving on to our next round. And, we, yo, folks, this has been probably the quickest episode yet. It hasn't even cracked the hour mark. And because we're going so damn fast, we just got to go right into it. It's the Fast and Furiously Rapid. Now, if you've never played this game before, how this is played is I will be reading off. I will set a timer for two minutes. I will be reading off film or TV show synopsis, and you will have to buzz in. With your name, so test your buzzers, Anna. Anna. India. India. Kaden. Oh. <laughs> Matthew. Oh. Matthew. <laughs> nice. You test in your buzzers there. If you think you know what the movie slash TV show is by just me telling you the synopsis, this is very rapid fire. So I will start talking about a synopsis. If Anna buzzes in, guesses Anna. correctly. I mo- Good job. I move on to the next project immediately. Now, if Anna, if Anna buzzes. Anna. Okay, there you go. And it's not the correct choice. Someone else can buzz in immediately afterwards and try to take it. Uh, each correct guess is three points. Matthew, this is your double point round. Every correct guess you get is six. So, folks, it, there are... If we if we go under the two minutes, there are twelve projects. What is that? Twelve times six. Wait, is that math correct? <laughs> if Matthew were to get any of them, he would probably run away with the with the with the win. Okay. Uh, do you guys understand that? Does that make sense, Matthew, as well? Yeah. Okay. Again, I don't have my other laptop, so I'm going to be reading it off my phone. All right. Uh, let me do this. Whoa. There we go. Cool. Are you guys ready? What's up? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Uh, let, oh, Leah, let me start. Let me start. Let me start the timer uh, for two minutes. You had one chance to change your feet. Would you? <laughs> Oh, but not yeah. Ridgey. Well, yeah, it's 35 o'clock. 35 o'clock. All right. Uh, okay. And the time starts now. Driven by tragedy, billionaire Blank dedicates him, his life to uncovering and defeating the corruption city that plagues his home, Blank. Unable Anna. to work with Anna. Batman? It is not just Batman. I will continue. Unable to work within the system, he he instead creates a new identity, a symbol of fear for the criminal underworld. Matthew? Matthew? The Batman? It's not the Batman. Caden. Caden. Uh uh oh, it's called uh Batman um Batman Begins. It is Batman Begins. Oh man. Uh, modern treasure hunters led by archaeologist Ben Gates search for... Kaden, Kaden, Kaden. I fucking love this movie. That's called uh, National Treasure. It I is love National love Treasure. A struggling salesman takes custody of his son as he's poised to begin a life-changing professional career. 
India? Uh, uh, India? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I, know, I don't know the name. Anna? Wait, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I will say it again. A struggling salesman takes custody of his son as he's poised to begin a life-changing professional career. Of India. Oh, Matthew. Oh, India. Matthew. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. India. Oh, I, I said the pursuit of happiness. It is the pursuit of Damn happiness. It, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God. I heard India first, and That's then I heard me. Matthew. Yes, oh. it was the one. It was the one. I no knew friend. it. I knew it. I just don't know the name of it. <laughs> okay, next one. Blank is reunited with her friends, Blank and Blank, in the search for answers about her past. What can she remember? Who are her parents? And where did she learn to speak whale? Kaden. Kaden. Whale. Way that was. Finding it. Dory. It is Finding Dory. <laughs> yes. Uh, and, 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, time. <laughs> but I want to go through all of them. I want to go through all of them. Anna, what's going on? I thought it was a girl. <laughs> what? I thought this was a real person. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I thought it was a real person. <laughs> like a documentary. And they all tell me that some girl learned how to speak well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when people try finding Nemo and they're like a boy whose mother was uh brutally oh, murdered. God. Oh god. Father searching for his kidnapped son or something. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. I will I will continue. Time did go out, but I will continue. An adaptation of the successful stage musical Blanked on Blank's classic novel set in 19th century France, in which a periled prisoner named Blank seeks redemption. Caden? Caden? Les Mis? It is Les Mis. Dang it. I would have thought it. I just didn't know it. I uh, thunk it, but didn't even say it. <laughs> the story follows the heroic efforts of the cryptozoological zoo agency Blank as its members face off against a battery of Blank-sized Blanks, including the Blank who collides with Blank Blank and his ultimate nemesis, the three-headed Blank. <laughs> These ancient Sir. super species... Oh! Matthew! Matthew? Oh! Otter! Uh. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It is King of Monsters. Anna, if you if you buzzed him with your name, I would have taken yours since he didn't have an answer right away. But that is that is points Woo! for Matthew. That is points for Matthew. Uh, next one, blank. No, because like, <laughs> sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, b blank and blank might be grown men, but that doesn't stop them from living at home and turning into jealous competitive stepbrothers when their single parents Kaden. marry. Caden. Literally stepbrothers. It is stepbrothers. Very good stuff. Right? <laughs> I don't know how you got that one. Uh, blank and Blank are approached to join the Gemini Project, a high-tech research center studying the dynamics between twins. Shockingly, they find themselves Kaden. interconnected. Caden? Caden. Hello? Caden. <laughs> um, is it Ready Player One? It's not Ready Player One. Caden, hello? <laughs> hello? Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> Continue, yeah. please. I will I will continue. When one twin experiences something, the other twin feels it too. This newfound revelation helps them see eye to eye for the first time. It could put them in more danger than they could have ever imagined. Us? Sweet India? India? No. No. <laughs> it's not. India? <laughs> Strauss is alone. Oh, I was literally about to say that Sweet Life on Deck movie. It is the Sweet Life movie. Is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, hell okay. no. I'm going to continue. What the fuck? I'm going to continue. What? I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue. Dominic Toretto is a Los Angeles. Oh, a Los Angeles. Oh, come Kaden. on. The Fast and Furious. It is the which one? I don't know. Should we start going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? It was the Fast and Furious. It was the Fast and Furious. Next movie. Long before oh, he sorry. even met Blank, the notorious fighter, lover, and outlaw, Blank becomes a hero when he sets off an adventure with the tough and street smart Kitty Softpaws and the mastermind Humpty Dumpty to save his town. This is the true story. Anna! Oh. Anna? Matthew! Anna? Puss in Boots. It is Puss in Boots. That's right. I think you're lagging That's a right. bit, buddy. I am. I am <laughs> lagging a bit. I am lagging a bit, but 
I, 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 it's funny because I can clearly hear who's first, but I am lagging. I can definitely tell because you guys are delayed. It's fine. Okay, two more, folks, two more. Uh, set in the 22nd century, the blank tells the story of a computer hacker who joins a group of underground insurgents fighting the vast and powerful computers Kaden. who now roll. Caden. The Matrix? It is the Matrix. Last one, what? folks. Last one, last one. An island populated entirely by happy flightless birds or almost entirely in this paradise. Caden. Happy feet? It is not happy feet. Anna. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I will continue. <laughs> uh, a bird with a temper problem, blank, and the votile bomb that has always have always been oh, outside. Kaden, Kaden, Ka Kaden. Kaden, you've already buzzed in. Oh, I can't do it again. No. Oh, okay, my bad. I didn't know. That. Uh, but when the island is visited by mysterious green piggies, it's up to these unlikely. Ah! Oh, Matthew. Matthew. What? The Angry Birds. It is the Angry Birds. Anna, I couldn't give it to you. I buzzed, you buzzed first. Anna, you buzzed in already, and you didn't have an answer. <laughs> sorry that is to matthew wow <laughs> wow wow let me that add those great let me add those points up that was that was insane let me have those uh and fourth place is caden with 18 and third is <sighs> india with 22 and second is anna with 37 currently storming in first place is matthew with 67 nice Matthew, he his, he's he's climbing up there. He's climbing up there. The head, the 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 shameful just head of Caden is just too Matthew, much. Are you afraid of heights? Uh, unless I'm strapped in, no. Put you up there, buddy. Yeah, I know. Yes, that, you is, that is true. Give him a join year or whatever that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what the lady called in the interview? They're like, name this thing. And she was like, I'm a join year. I think she does. Yeah, I think she does. <laughs> Uh oh, can you guys see me? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. What just happened? There we go. Okay. I had to, I had to fix something really quick. Okay. Let me go back to is that a Walmart Wi Fi or what? I uh, yeah. This no the Wi Fi here is absolutely garbage. Okay. Let me let's go on to the next part. This is the intermission part. Also, if if I start freezing, just let me know. Uh, this is as always our Pixar film tournament Yay. um folks we, we we did we started the next round of brackets toy story 3 one ratatouille and monsters inc beat out toy story now i want to start with this movie because i need i just need new opinions i need new opinions so i'm gonna touch base on this and then we're gonna do two for sure so the first one that we are going to do is we're gonna do toy story 2 and we're gonna do brave now, last time we did this, it was tied, neck and neck, 50-50. So I can't, I, we couldn't really move on. So we've got to really figure out how we feel about this. So how do you guys feel? I'm going to go to, I already know how Caden feels. Caden chose Toy Story 2. Andy, I'm going to go to you. It's tough. If you want me to, I can, I can pass if you'd like. I yeah, pass. let me, let me okay. think about that. Okay, okay. okay. Anna. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Let me let me think. Why do why do this to me, man? Okay, I'll pass. Brave, I'll pass you. Don't brave. worry. Don't worry. I'll pass you because I think I know Matthew's choice. But I'm gonna go to Matthew. Toy Story Two. Yeah. Do you have <laughs> any do, doubt. do you have any reasoning behind that, Matthew? I feel like we needed you last week because we were torn 50-50. Nobody was budging. <laughs> so. Because Brave is not a good movie at all. I wish you were here last. I I'm wish you were here sorry. last week. <laughs> I wish you were here last week. Oh man, I'm sorry. Like no, I Brave, <laughs> like uh, the story was just didn't reach Pixar's levels at all. I don't think the directors did a good job. I mean, um the the main character, Princess um, Merida, is that her name? Meredith. Meredith, Mer Merida, uh, whatever her name is. Yeah. Um, she, I mean, she. She's a bit memorable only because Disney has advertised her numerous of times. Yeah. But the story was just, it wasn't there. Like I watched it and I'm just like, this is really boring. This is so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree. I just didn't want to say it last week because I think it was Julia Wasaki and Kaden. Who else voted for brave? Um, Fuck, who was even there last time? <laughs> I know me, you and me, you and Jill voted Toy Story 2. 
and it was Julia Wasaki. I think Julia, I don't know why Julia picked Brave. I know Wasaki <laughs> picked Brave. And I think the other girl picked Brave. I said, what the fuck are we doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Nicole. It was Jill's sister. Why did I? Oh, right. wow. She also picked Brave because she said she didn't like Toy Story. But I'm just like, how can you not like Toy Story? I, like, I didn't but, get it. Like, yeah, oh, jump through this doesn't camera. Make, does, I know it doesn't make sense, but uh, yeah, our, our whole reasoning at least my reasoning, India and Anna was Brave was cute, but the story compared to Toy Story 2 just doesn't live up because there has not been a Toy Story movie that has missed. Like, Toy Story, every movie in that franchise has been bangers, and it may be the weakest, in my opinion, out of the four, but. It's the weaker Toy Story is still better than Brave, in my opinion. I just like the introduction of Bullseye. I like the introduction to Jesse. Like, it's this most satisfying scene where that dude is cleaning Woody's face and his oh, body. Yeah. So satisfying. It's just like, it's such a nice story. You have Zerg, I think. To- yeah, I think that's Toy Story too. You have Zerg. Like, it's just, it's so, it's not as iconic as the other th- four, as the other three, but it's still, it, it still holds up, I think. That's the yard sale one. It is. Uh, no, it's. No, is it, it is. Okay. Yep. okay. They have the yeah, yard yeah. sale. Okay. Uh. Yeah, and then like Buzz realizes like, oh, I'm not special because he sees that aisle full of Buzz Light years, which that scene is kind of that that that's hard hitting. That's tough. He he's probably like, damn, I'm just a carbon copy. <laughs> but yeah. uh, India Anna, you guys are you guys. What are you guys I just thinking? did any mini money mo and it landed on Toy Story 2. So I'm good with Toy Story 2. Cool. Yeah, that was very Toy easy. Story. We wish you guys were here last week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh now that we got that out of the way, I literally just wanted to see your guys' opinion. I'm glad we won that one. Uh I'm gonna move on to the next brackets. Um I'm gonna do this. I feel like these are gonna be easy. Incredibles or Ger- Gertie's game? Incredibles. Incredibles. Okay, I feel like that's that's very weighed. We'll go Incredibles on that one. Next one is For the Birds, the short film, and Wally. 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 I feel like that one's pretty easy as well. Hi there, buddy boy. I think it's a little bit boy. Hold on. I have, I have Hi. someone. Hi. Tell them I love them. His what name is your is, name? His name is Oreo. <gasps> that's so cute. <laughs> Adorable. Because he's oh, black and white like an Oreo. He is. Yep. Yep. He get, he has the end he has the N word card in his pocket. And he's chilling. You know. He's good. He look at him with that cute little fat face. Oh my god. Oh yep. my god. He he wanted oh. to come and, and visit us and he's left. Cool. All What's right. He has secrets. He does have secrets. What did you say, Anna? What's his sister's name? Lola. Oreo and Lola. Yeah, she is she's sitting right there. There she is. Hey, Lola. Yep, and she's gone. Yep. Bye, Lola. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, For the Birds or Wally. I feel like if wow. For the Birds For the Birds is a really good short film, but up against Wally, that that's that's it's not fair. It was. That's the, is that? I don't even know what For the Birds is. Is that the one where it, it was? I don't know. Is okay. it the one? Where you're, no, I think you know. You know what you're talking about, India. Is it's it the one, where, the one the, where it's like sitting on the little? Yeah. Little, it's yeah. It's okay. the short. Yeah. It's the short before Monsters Inc. Oh wow! Yeah, it's that old. Wow. It's old. Yep. It's it's really good, but it's it's also up against Wally, which that movie That's is just is a good. Pixar masterpiece. So That's true. you guys That's remember Knickknacks? I think it's called. Yes, I love that short. It's oh my so god, Knickknacks was so cute. I don't remember that. Okay. Um. Let's just do another one. We've got time. We've got time to kill it. Let's do another one. Um, I kind of want to do... This one's tough. I want to do Up versus Coco. We, we, got, we, got to, we, got, we got to go with a heavy hitter. That's okay. Uh, Matthew, this is going to be the debate. Matthew, let's have you start. All right. Up. Okay. Why do you say Up. Because not that Coco is bad. Coco made me shed tears. It, it makes me shed tears every time I watch the, the ending to it. But Up was just a great adventure. It had everything. It had comedy. 
It had dramatic depth. It was an adventure. The characters are so memorable. And it the animation's amazing. And it really, it, it took us by surprise. Because I remember when I watched that, um, because that, mo- that movie came out the summer before I was going to become a freshman in high school. And when watching the trailer, you're, you're watching it like, wow, this is going to be a really fun adventure. And then once you watched it, they took us by surprise and said, wow, this is sad. Up had everything that is very, very Pixar. Mm. Okay. okay. Anyone else have a definite opinion off the bat? My name's Bennett. I ain't in it. <laughs> uh, India, do you, do you have anything to say right now? Um, I enjoyed both, but I... Uh, Coco, I feel like for me, Coco... Coco was very emotional. And I think it hit it hit a lot of different like spaces for me. So I'm gonna say Coco, I think. Cause I wasn't I haven't watched I've watched I've seen up like a couple of times, but it, it didn't hit me as hard as Coco did emotionally. So I'm gonna say go go yeah. Kaden. Yeah, I'm also gonna have to go with Coco. Um, I think because both of those movies made me almost tear up. So the emotional factor was there for both. Both have an amazing soundtrack. Uh, Both are fantastically animated. I just think Coco has so much more. Like when you see the, the afterworld for the first time and it's like bright and like those colors are beautiful and the song and and the surprise villain. I both I guess both have a surprise villain. Both of them yeah. are kind of cute. Yeah, that's right. true. Yeah. So um, but I just think Coco overall, I really liked the message. And I think uh I think also you discovering that the guy that's trying to get back to his wife was the grandma's the whole time, like his lover. Yeah. Her, that was just like the most heartbreaking and then he sings that song like remember me I was like, oh fuck no dude <laughs> <laughs> that was that was really emotional so i think overall coco coco hits different and i i definitely like coco okay anna did you have anything to add oh y'all both traumatized me for different reasons i love both of them um and i am i'm just happy whichever way it falls i don't feel like i can say one without diminishing the value of the other one i don't know how to explain it but like they're both just i really like both of them but for yeah. great reasons that's true well uh we, we've come to the moment where it is tipped in the balance i feel like thanos um i remember being how what, when did up came out was it 2009? 2009 i remember being nine years old with my glasses because i didn't have contacts yet with under my 3d glasses and uh, <laughs> i had a blast that was the first 3d film i've ever been to so that was uh, that was a blast and the first freaking five minutes of that movie makes me ball i it's the music every time i hear that damn musical soundtrack i cry and up is such an iconic movie you got the balloons in the house like it's such an action adventure it's so fun <sighs> and the thing is is up is so iconic Up is such an iconic film. And Coco hits you in the feels. Coco was not as iconic as Up because Up was that. Up is a foundational Pixar film that just holds holds it for everything. But we're talking individual stories. I've got to give it to Coco because I... I regret choosing The Incredibles over Soul. That that I talked to Jill about this last night, and I said <laughs> I completely regret doing that. That was the stupidest decision I've ever did because I watched Incredibles over, and it's such a good film. But I didn't feel the same way out of Incredibles like I did with Soul, and that's the same thing with Coco and Up. It's just like we're getting to the point where the iconics they're easy wins like right off the bat like monsters inc is iconic toy story is iconic ratatouille is iconic but now we're getting into what was a better story and coco obviously being spanish as i am that movie just 
hits me in the feels. I actually had never seen it until Jill showed me in 2020, which is actually kind of crazy. But when I saw it, I cried. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I cried. It took forever for me to watch it. I just like, I knew it was good, but I just never, it's one of the things I never sat down to do. And my family like sat me down to watch it. And then I'm just like crying during the film. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. the ending song is so good too it is good it is good okay so yeah obviously with the pixar we did a lot today we did uh wally's moving on incredibles coco and toy story 2 uh next episode if we've got you on next episode we're going to do finding nemo versus turning red that's going to be interesting and then we're going to do bow versus toy story 4 which i feel like at least for me is going to be a little closer than expected but i feel like it's also going to be kind of heavily weighed so we'll see how that goes okay short films i can't believe that they have the short films yeah it's because like like for instance the wally and for the birds i do like for the birds because all the little bird characters made me feel exactly what i was supposed to feel for them (laughs) i hate those tiny little dudes (laughs) (laughs) But if there was like, if they were in a short film category, they probably would have won a little bit farther. Yeah. yeah. Just that Wally is more hours of great content. Yeah. It's kind of unfair, which I don't know why Rotten Tomatoes did like films in short films. Cause that's so, like, you're, you're weighing something that's two hours to something that's like a few minutes. Right. So, but nice. That, yeah, that's always the fun film tournament. I'm excited. I've got the next tournament kind of lined up. I'm hoping to get to that before the end of September. Now, uh, let me join. We're going to jump right into round four, y'all. It's it's getting close. It is getting close. Again, point update. Matthew is in first with 67. Anna is in second with 37. India is in third with 22. And Caden is in last with 18. But don't worry for those. Everybody who's not in first place, we come on back. Okay. Now, this round... It's all about those points. But first, you got to survive. It's the survival games. Now, if you've never played the survival games before, here's how it's played. Basically, I'm going to give you a category, and you'll have to name everything in that category. Could be a person, could be a movie, could be a show, could be whatever. Uh, I'll tell you what it is when we get to it. You have to name something in that category to stay alive. This one is a one to one to So like I'll go Caden, India, Anna, Matthew, boom, 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 boom. And we'll just go in that order and we'll keep going to each person. Uh, It could be a general topic. For example, name a Michael Jackson song, or it could be something in reverse or chronological order. For example, we did MCU films released in reverse chronological order. So that's kind of an example of that. Uh, obviously, if it's a general topic, you need to, you cannot name something or somebody that has already been said. And if it has to be in order, it has to be in order. Uh, I will give you guys two slip-ups. So three lives together, which is generous today. I'm giving you guys three lives, two slip-ups. Um, does that make sense for you guys? Cool. Yeah. This is probably the hardest test when it comes to actual knowledge. So we're, we're, we're about to have some fun. Uh, this first one. This is where that pen, paper, and pad, and whiteboard, and all that stuff comes into play. This first one, you guys could take notes, by the way, is Hunger Games characters. Now, I will take a character name, but if you don't know it, I will take an actor slash actress. <sighs> wow. If you do, if you give me a first name, I'll take it. If you give me, yeah, so... if you if you, if you give me a first name, either a character or actress or actor, I'll take it. I'll take the point. Okay, uh, I'll give you guys some time to write down some notes. You guys can write down notes if the time ends, but once the time ends, I will start taking answers. It will go Caden, India, Anna, Matthew. That is the order we'll go. Uh, Also, uh, this is an elimination round. If you're out first, you get two points, additional to what you got. If If you're out next, then you get four points additional. If you're out next, you get eight. If you're if you uh, if you're out last, you can't get an you can't get an additional point, you get eight. But if you get an additional one, you get ten. Crap. Why don't I just kiss you on the mouth? Caden, <laughs> <laughs> are you about to make a comeback? Caden, this is the this is comeback season. You you this no, is no. comeback season for you. He probably is because I never really seen the Hunger Games. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm like, I know I saw some of them. 
And I'm trying to remember if these people are the names of Hunger Games characters or Divergent characters. Because okay. I barely watched both of them. While you do this, I will be right back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Holy shit. Kaden, we're going to start with you. Whenever you're ready, Kaden. Uh, go ahead and do uh, a Katniss Everdeen. Yeah. Wow. That one was hard. I didn't think that you'd ever a- get them. I didn't ever think you'd ever get that one. I'm also going to start off easy. We're going to hide that bad boy right there. Okay. Uh, India. We're going to go with President Snow. President Snow. What up? A- I'm not going to say that on camera. I have a question. Yes, I have a question. Which one is Snow? What do you is mean? That, is that a man or a woman? It's a man. <laughs> it's a man. It's a man. <laughs> I was like, somebody's snow. I know that much, but I didn't know who it was. And the way I don't know his first name, I don't know if it's like Cornelius or Cord. Cor- Cornel- Cornelius, Cornelius. Cornelius is a character from <laughs> Cornelius is a character from Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh <laughs> Lord, it's so- <laughs> from 1930 something. <laughs> I love that movie. Okay, uh, Anna. We're allowed to do the actor's name. If you can't think of the character name, you can do an actor's name as long as the character has not already been said. Okay. I hope this is a him. Liam Hemsworth is in it. It is Liam, Chris's brother. <laughs> Matthew. Uh, God. Um, you uh, get three Jennifer lives. Lawrence. Has already been said, but that's only one out of the three lives lost. Don't worry about it. Uh, Caden. Just do. Rue. Rue. Oh. You just opened up some some wounds in my heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> India. Um. Is it Prim? Prim. Yep. Your sister. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and throw in some WWJD <laughs> there, buddy. <laughs> it's not Prim. Is it is not? That- is that not her name? Hello? Her, her name, her name. What happened to it? <laughs> what happened? Her nickname is Prim. Her real what? name is her real name is Primrose. Kaden, you gotta be like that. <laughs> I think Kaden is currently frozen. <laughs> <laughs> India, India, I will give you a half point. I see okay. I will give you a half point for that. The thing is I wrote Primrose, but I just said Prim because I thought Rose was like the second name. You're good. Um, Anna. Okay, I don't know the name of his character, but I know her daddy's here. Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> it's Lenny Kravitz, yep. Yeah. That fashion dude, right? Yeah, he is the fashion dude. Okay, Matthew. Uh, I don't know if he was even in it, but Josh Hutcherson. Then no one has said is no one has said Josh Hutcherson. Matt, yep, there you go. Wow. I was waiting wow. for someone to say PETA. I was really waiting for someone to say PETA. I wrote PETA. P-E-T-A, but I wasn't sure if that's how you spell it. And I didn't know if that was his name. <laughs> that's a like, hey, guess, man. Yeah, Matthew, India. I haven't asked you guys a lot of questions. Matthew, I'm going to go to you. Uh, what, is your, what is your favorite TV show? Could be right now. Could be of all time. Hmm. Favorite TV show. Um, what a, man. Oh, okay. Uh, Cobra Kai. Really? I love Cobra Kai. I love Cobra Kai so much. It the, the the development of the stories and the characters is just so spot on. So good. Like, and it's so epic. It's every single episode is filled with twists and turns, and every single season, it's unbelievable. And I cannot wait for season five, which comes out season literally, five. I think, a month today wow yes it is september 9th i will have to i will have to check that show out i'll have to check that show out it's really good dude okay no there we go (laughs) caden's back (laughs) hey dizzle in the house (laughs) (laughs) it's just kidding (laughs) my life i just see it's 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 all good it's all good uh basically caden um uh when you dipped out i think 
did India, you, you said something, right? Or Anna, you said, no, oh, no, 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 that's what it was. It was Primrose. So I gave her a half point because knowing Jill, she'd give her a half point. Yeah. Of WJD. Okay. And then Anna said Lenny Kravitz, right? Joe D. <laughs> yep. And then Matthew said Josh Hutcherson. So just so you're, okay. you're caught up today, it is back to you. Sweet. So I will say Woody Harrison. Damn. It is Woody Harrelson, but I'll give you that. Woody right Harrison. Woody Harrison. Yep. Critically acclaimed. India. Man, I don't know nobody else in this movie. Let me guess. Lady Applejack. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, there is no character named Lady Applejack. That is your first life lost, <laughs> India. Anna, back to you. I am really hoping that this is not that president man, Stanley Tucci. Stanley Tucci. I know for a fact Stanley Tucci in it. I I keep tabs on my. He man is Stanley in it. Tucci. That is we has not. He has not I been said. That, that is true. That is true. Him and Lenny. I keep tabs on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Matthew, on to you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um that's all I got. You did you did pull Josh Hutchinson out your ass, so you could probably <laughs> do another one. Uh Chris Pine. Chris Pine is not in, in the first uh, um, games. Oh well, okay. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. You have one life remaining. Kaden, it goes back to you. One life? I, I the same person Peta. Peta's already been said josh hutcherson that's josh hutcherson okay i didn't know i don't know that fuck boy's name <laughs> india um jelly bean yes yes favorite character critically acclaimed actress jelly bean is not in the hunger games anna <laughs> okay i don't know who this character is but i'm pretty sure this is the name of the one that the girl from euphoria is about to play is her name tigress i think so let me check you said what did you say tigress that's what i said let me let me look it up because that's not it. Damn. Not in the first film. Oh, okay. I'm still feeling good about it. But is that her name? I think so. Not in the first film. Oh, that's your first life lost. Matthew, it's on to you. You have one life remaining. Uh man. Uh another question. Yes. Um, question. How many lives do we get? You all have three. So Matthew and India have one left. You and Caden have two left. So Anna, as long as Caden loses his next life, you probably have a guaranteed eight points additional. Yeah. I don't know. Zendaya. Zendaya is not in the first Hunger Games, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew, you do get a single point from that part. Uh, Caden. On to you. I, I I got nothing, bro. Uh, fucking Bella Thorne. Uh, <laughs> nice. Not in the film. India, one life remaining. Lucy. <laughs> From I Love. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lucy's not in the film. Uh, India, because you were out second, you get 1.5 plus... Uh, four. So you get 5.5 .5 points right there. Let you look at that. Anna, it's on to you. We're gonna go with an um, Alice. Alice. We're just throwing out names and hoping there's a character. <laughs> we don't need last names, so. <laughs> there's no Alice. There's no Alice, Anna. Uh, Kaden, on to you. Dog, how are we not? How, <laughs> how are we still going? <laughs> how many lives do I have? Kaden, this is your final life. Well, fucking <laughs> bro, because I'm done, bro. I'm I'm out. All right, Kaden, Kaden is out. Uh, you do get three plus six points. Kaden, you got nine points right there. Okay, Anna. I get to just keep going. 
well, if you get the next one wrong, then then you're out. But if you get the next one right, then you'll get four plus ten. You'll get fourteen. But if you Ooh, get I this like one that. wrong, you'll get three plus eight. That's eleven. There's someone named Snow. There's gotta be. There's no way they built a world without a John. <laughs> <laughs> A John. <laughs> oh, okay. So named John. There is an actor named John Ross. Oh my God! I'm I'll wow. take it out. I'll take it out. I'll take it out. Please, that's so shameful. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, you're really about to put me on the spot. Get you squeezed out of John Ross, who played Game Center Tech. That's right. He's my favorite. Oh no, I'll give you half a point. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you half a point. How about that? They're okay. scraping the bottom of the barrel. Did you want to go ahead and do another one, or are you just cut it there and you get the ten? If there's a Britney, and then I'm good. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, let me check. <laughs> it's Hunger Games. I doubt there's going to be a Britney. There is no Britney. Okay, let me add your points really quick. Uh, okay. <sighs> That was funny. So now that we're done, can I ask who is the lady that wears all the outrageous outfits that says May the Ox no one said fuck. Elizabeth Banks? That was that was the actress I was gonna tell you guys. Oh, Elizabeth man. Banks. No one. What's said her Elizabeth. character name? Uh, what is her character name? Daddy's Effie fine. F Effie Trinket. <laughs> See, that's who I was thinking about when I said Lady Applejack. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> not, lady, not Lady Applejack. Okay. Uh, nice. We're going to go back to the quiz because that was not the last part of the survival games. There's one more remaining. Let me give you guys a point update. In last place is Caden with 27. Caden, we're coming back. Don't you worry. We're coming back. <laughs> right in front of him by 0.5 points is India with 27.5. <laughs> nice. Uh, in second place is Anna with 50.5. Ooh, and 18 18 point5 points ahead is Matthew with 68 folks Matthew's got the win so far but Anna you have a shot honestly India Caden you guys have a shot too because this one you we could be here for for another half an hour because this one well speaking of that I have like 42 minutes left no worries we'll try to be quick we'll try to be quick this next one is 2021 films released. In chronological order. What? Ooh. I'm only kidding. It's just general. Ah, uh, I was like, bro, get <laughs> fucked. Yes. yes. No this way. is gonna be great. You guys take your notes. It has to be a theatrically released film. I can't. I won't take anything that it was released solely on something like Tom and Jerry. I will not take because uh, Tom oh. and Jerry was released solely on Paramount Plus. No, HBO Max. HBO Max, yes. Okay, so theatrically released. So you're not doing like streaming stuff. If it released on both, I'll take it. But it has to be released in theaters. Okay, okay. So again, Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League, I will not take. Okay, I'll give you guys some. I'll, I'll give, give you guys a minute to go ahead and write down. Take your notes. Nice. <laughs> My brain is on zero right now. Wow. I have a question. Yes. Are all of those films, films that were released in 2021? <laughs> were all of them released in 2021? Um, I think so. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that because right, I could be I wrong. No, they, they, uh... <laughs> they, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Uh, same thing applies. Remember, <laughs> folks, is all to play for. All to play for. Okay. Uh, this time we're going to start with Matt, then Anna, then India, then Caden. All right. Matthew, let's start with you. Luca. Luca. Yep. There you go. I also need to have this just up and ready, so I'm, I'm good. Yes, just to confirm, 2021. 
Uh, also, you only get two lives, not three. Technically, you only get one slip up. Anna, it's on to you. Raya and the Last Dragon. Raya and the Last Dragon was 2021. Was it released in theaters? I believe so, because it played at the AMC I was working at. Yes. Yeah, because I, I saw it in theaters as well. Yes. Good stuff. India. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. No Way Home. Yeah. There you go. Caden. We're going to go with uh, Cruella. Cruella. Yep. Emma Stone. Matthew. Oh. Black Widow. Black Widow. Originally supposed to come out in 2020. They, right. delayed it, they delayed it a whole month. Okay. Uh, 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 India? Oh, sorry, Anna. Anna. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, yep. I saw it in theaters. Me too. India. Sing 2. Oh! Love that Sing movie. Sing 2, yep. That movie was playing at our AMC for literally six months. Ridiculous. Yeah, I, went to the, um, I actually was, I got to see the early access one where they played it like four months before it came out. That shit. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Caden, on to you. Um, Eternals. Eternals, a movie that, that was your dying grace in one of the quiz clubs previous. That's right. And now it's my saving grace. Yep. It's true. <laughs> Matthew. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Love me some smooth. Yep. Uh, Anna. He's so adorable. Um, Coming to America. Was it released in theaters is the question. No. It was not. It was on Prime, I think. Um, I don't yeah. think it was a, It was not a release to theaters, Anna. Like that, that is your time. first slip up. Don't worry, Anna. You're 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 right. You're right behind Matthew. You you gotta you gotta power through that. Yeah. Oh, dude, I missed my third place spot. <laughs> uh, India. Encanto. 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 Yep. <laughs> not Encanto. Okay. <laughs> Kaden. Space Jam. Two. Okay, good. I was going to say Space Jam came out in 1996. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matthew. Godzilla versus Kong. Godzilla versus Kong, a movie oh, I really yeah. enjoyed. Nice. I, I think I was the only one that enjoyed that from that response. Anna. <laughs> <I'm> oh, <just laughs> sorry. Sorry. I was thinking. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> it was all right. <laughs> I don't know if this one was in theaters. Judas and the Black Messiah. Ooh, HBO Max, I think, right? I yep. think it. Let me check. I think it was both, though. I think yeah, it was released in theater. Release date has a theatrical release, twenty twenty one February. But it was mainly, I think, it was like a few days. Yeah, because it was a Sundance Film Festival, and then obviously they showed it for. Oscars, so that is a point for you. India. Uh, ooh, House of Gucci. Yes, House yes. of Gucci. Okay. House of Gucci. Caden. The Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. Nice, Matthew. Ron's gone wrong. Ron's gone wrong. Yeah, I actually completely forgot that came out. Wow. <laughs> So did I. <laughs> Anna. Uh, I don't know if this came out in 2021. Spider-Man to the Spideyverse. It did not. No. Uh, Anna, you are officially eliminated. You do get three points. Ooh. Okay. This is gonna sound sad, but I've got to remove your spotlight. Sorry, they're on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, Anna. It's okay. okay. Uh, India. Um, I'm trying to think of the name. Give me like two seconds. One, two. Oh, that's a setup. Oh my god. Um, I don't know. Uh, 
I literally forgot everything that I watched last year. Scream 5? Scream came out at the beginning of 2022. Ah. That is your first slip up, India. Just a first slip up. Don't worry about it. Caden, back to you. Uh, no Way Home. Has already been said. That is a slip up, folks. This this championship is might might be elevating up there. Matthew, on to you. Ghostbusters Afterlife. It, yep, Ghostbusters Afterlife. That is one. India. Uh, already off a room. Yeah. Uh, I genuinely don't remember what the heck. I will have to push you for an answer there, India. I won. Are you forfeiting? Yes. India, you have been eliminated, but you get four additional to four points. You get eight points coming out of that round. White flags are hoisted. Okay. Give me one second, and then I'll go to you, Caden. Give me one second. Okay. Caden. Oh, that encourage him. We're going to do Halloween. <laughs> Gotta tell you, don't know which fucking it's been, like it's yeah, just Halloween. I don't think it was called. I don't think it was like literally. I don't think it was like Halloween, the return of Jason's fucking nutsack. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it was called that. Caden, Caden, Caden. What? I'm gonna need you to get these titles right, bro. It's literally. Is it not? Is it more than Caden? Just because. Just. Be- <laughs> Just because that joke made me laugh, I'll give you a half point. But if you What's if you called? screw up again, there, good sir, you're out. You called Halloween Kills. <laughs> okay, you get a you get a point five there, uh, Matthew. Venom, let there be carnage. Yep, Venom, let there be carnage. Caden. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, X. X came out in 2022. Uh-huh. And new quiz club champion. It is Mr. Matthew Monaco. Ooh. Oh, so good. I don't know why they just stopped. The gauntlet. Very I'm good. Dead. Very good stuff. He's got the Dang, gauntlet. So he has Majoinier and the gauntlet. Wow. <laughs> Not Majoinier. Wow. <laughs> very good. Very good stuff, folks. Matthew, you're a new quiz club champion, man. Woo! Wow. Very good stuff. Very good work, everyone. Uh, let me just add up the points really quick. You guys talk amongst yourselves or whatever. Give me a second to add your guys' points. Guys, I'm sick, sick. And this cat is not helping me. Oh, but it's a tea. <laughs> Have you guys played the game Stray? No, oh, what God. is that? Best fucking game in the whole world. You literally play a cat in like a dystopian world filled with like robots. And it's the best thing in the world. Where do you play it at? Uh, PS5, Xbox. I think, it, uh, I don't know if it's on Xbox, but I know PlayStation has it. Is it like you just wander around? Just no, do. you do tasks as a little kid, <laughs> and you meow, and <laughs> you do cat, and you have a backpack because Mister T needs a little backpack. <laughs> nice, uh, yeah, little kitty. Okay, like, uh, the um, oh sorry, the the two movies that I was going to mention were Free Guy and In the Heights. Free Guy came. Mm, I forgot about In the Heights. I literally yep. want to go see that. Yep. Also, Caden, you didn't say the movie you suggested me to watch, which was oh wait, no, that came out that came out on Netflix. That's what it was. The Andrew Garfield. Oh, oh my tick, god. Tick, tick, I love that movie. But it wasn't yeah, oh, it was that was so good. It was so good. So good. Okay. As the final points stand, fourth place is India with 35.5. India, very good work though. Very good work. I don't know. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna ignore that you did that instead of doing this. Because that was a gesture I I completely just thought was something else. Uh, oh. In third place, 
in third place is Caden with 38 points. <laughs> <laughs> Caden, you look depressed. <laughs> Caden, this championship, good sir, has uh, it's left. Fuck. Now, do you have any words before I move on? Uh, no, you may move on. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Character development, folks, uh, for our team. <laughs> uh, second place is Anna with 53.5. Anna, you really, you really got up there. That's uh, and the best I've ever done. That is the best. Yep. Oh, no, that's not true. That's not true. You got 74 points, episode eight. Oh, I, well, I have the stats. Second. I'm talking about second place. Yes, you, you did very well. You placed second, which is exactly what we need. And mm-hmm. our new quiz club champion. It's Mr. Matthew Monaco, 82 points. Oh, man. Dang. Folks, I think we found a new Goliath because, Matthew, you, you, have, an, you have been on the quiz club multiple times, a couple times. Your average points is 82.5. That is your average score for quiz club. <laughs> what? Is, wait, is that, is, wait, what's the highest? The highest, so the highest points ever, anyone's ever gotten was Caden with 99. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Caden got yeah. ninety nine. You you currently you don't have the second. Oh no, you do have the second highest. Uh, no, you don't. Sorry, oh, Jake has Jake has eighty six. So it goes ninety nine is Caden's best. Jake is eighty six, and then you with eighty three, which was the first time you played. Did I play with Jake? I think so. Is that the is that from when he like won mm-hmm. after that, he got seventy points in one round? Yeah, that was fucking crazy. That's oh so my funny. god, Matthew. He started with ten. He started with zero points and then walked into the final round with seventy four points. <laughs> yeah, he yeah wow. he, he he was on something that day. He was on he was <laughs> cocaine. I don't know what it was. Uh, just because I like the, I think the stats are kind of crazy and and I kind of want to hype you guys up but also shame you guys for a second Caden your worst game was was this game actually this yeah. was this was your worst game 38.5 um Anna your worst game was 21 points on my birthday episode game? that was the last yeah. time you yeah it was the last time you that was the last time you played yeah 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 uh but like I said 74 points episode eight you do pretty good app. uh India your worst game surprisingly 42 points for your worst game is 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 very good because the lowest points we've ever had was 10 points as a buddy of mine from wales calwin had 10 points <laughs> to finish the game so 42 is not bad and uh the most points you've ever had was 69 yeah, very nice. the last one. It's yeah. So and then matthew yeah he's just crushing it very good stuff folks very good stuff oh wait a minute wait a minute no fuck no fuck no really already I'm kidding. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <I'm> only... <laughs> what? No, I was, I was. It's funny because I think only Caden knows what that was. Yeah, basically, literally. basically, Matthew, you have to watch your back now because last Quiz Club we had the Quiz Club cash in contract. Wasaki is currently our holder. She could cash in on you or whoever's champion at any time, and she could take your championship right then and there. All she needs to do is answer. She needs to score more points than you in just one round. And she takes oh, it. I wanted to do man. that just to tease Caden just a little bit. That yeah, that would have been crazy. <laughs> no, before, she's not here. Before we sign off, I have a bit of an announcement to make as well. Oh, uh, not to not to. I know we're getting, we're getting like oh here we go. Uh, with the with the dethroning of my championship, Matt taking my crown from me, rightfully so. This is the worst I've ever <laughs> done. Uh, in the history of it, and I tried too. I was like, damn, I really suck <laughs> and I'm trying. Um, I have made the decision to retire from Quiz Club permanently. What? Uh, I what? Think, yep. I think I am. I'm done. I'm out. Um, it's something I've been thinking about for a hot minute. Um, I've been thinking about it for, I think, since I actually took my championship this last time I've been thinking about wow. it, I told myself I wouldn't stop until I got properly dethroned. Dethroned, and, and I'm fighting and fighting and fighting. Um, I am stopping because um, with the way that my life is right now and my work schedule, um, I can't keep up with the quiz club every Tuesday because it's taking like time out of my day and it's it's forcing me to it's kind of hard to explain but you know to work around it on like one of my days off it's kind of becoming uh difficult in the sense of like 
you know, I had, I had a bit of a mental breakdown the other day. And one of those reasons is because I cram so much stuff into my mm. day off that it's, it doesn't feel like a day off. And even though quiz club is so much fun and so much to do, it's still like an obligation almost. And so it's just, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I, so I can't like <laughs> doing it. And so just for the sake of me, I need to definitely take a break. And so like, you know, I've stopped doing a lot of things and this is one of them. However, um, I am gonna still be defending and i will keep defending my uh tag team championship until that is lost as that's well true and with jake that gets lost that's when i'll be done but when it comes to the individual ones um i think i am done but dante i will hit wow. you up anytime but i mean that also might be a good thing because now you don't have to do it on tuesdays you could do it on weekends or when everyone else is available you know what i mean you can that's switch true. that around a bit but uh, yeah, I wanted to make that announcement here today. Wow, breaking news! Yeah. Breaking right. news. Uh, put up the cleats. Will he return? Like the end of the MCU movies where they go blank will return. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll see. I think I've had a pretty good career. The high, the first Quiz Club champion, the number one highest earning Quiz Club champion, and Four time uh, champion. <laughs> yeah, and like time champion. That's right. Most time champion, and also like I'd say most appearance. Person. Yeah, you you out of out of seven out of eighteen episodes today, you have been a part of sixteen. That's right. That's wild. So I definitely yeah. think I've it's earned. I've it's earned. Run. So nice. But nice. thank you for having me on. Thank you guys for competing. And that? It's fun as fuck as always. And thank you everyone for doing it and having a good time. And I, I you know, like I said, maybe I'll come back, you know, later and just kind of for funsies. True. But for now, I'd like to take a bit of a break that's fair enough it's well deserved when you return if you return it's definitely gonna be a big that's gonna be a big deal be like oh man it's about to get crazy nice. i'd like to see you said you said a welsh man is or a there is a well i i am i have sent a pager as one did to captain marvel i've sent a pager to a welsh man oh for the uh, tag team championship <laughs> what? Oh. to where to where? <laughs> did, I... <laughs> did i freeze yeah, you yes. should. Oh, like, no. Like, two. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that was literally, that was literally the end of Infinity War. That's literally yeah, the end. <laughs> nice. Uh, no, I, I have contacted a Welshman uh, uh, to, to join for the tag team episode, which will be coming soon. Uh, also, for the viewers, we might be skipping a week because I will be in Vegas next Tuesday. Uh, and, and it's going to be very busy next 10 days. So we might take a little break. But we have a new champion. The next championship, we have Matthew Monaco. Uh, we have the retirement. It's going it's to be crazy, y'all. It's going to be crazy. Hope to see you guys again. If you guys want to say goodbye. 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 Little, little Thanos fist. <laughs> <laughs>